your gun stock is running low and you are struggling to find more? Don't worry. In today's video, I'm going to show all the ways you can farm guns efficiently and become the richest player in LDOE. Be sure to watch the full video as I will reveal the most important step at the end. Enjoy! First things first, you have to clear the daily events regularly, the airdrop, the dealer, and the rest stop events. Doing these events daily will give you a couple of weapons to start off with. One thing you need to know about these events is that they spawn in a pattern. Airdrops will spawn three times a day. The first is when your energy is below 150, and then when your energy is below 15. The dealer will spawn once a day when you are below 150 energy. Plus, you can call him from the radio once a week, while the rest stop spawns once a day. These events are really easy to clear. They don't require a lot of fighting except for the rest stop, where you have to bring at least one Glock and some healing items. But the rewards are worth it. Make sure to remember these timings so that you can clear these events every day. Then you have the police department and the farm. I recommend clearing these locations every reset. They will require more skill, like learning how to do the wall trick. For the police department, it's really an easy location. Gather as many brown cards as possible and turn them into green ones. This will give you at least one gun and a weapon crate. So make sure to kill all the zombies, do some waves, and you're good to go. If you don't know how to clear the police department or the waves, make sure to watch all my videos on this location. As for the farm, it's not the hardest, but surely more difficult than the police department. Watch some of my videos to learn how to clear this location and how to kill the Ravager. The blue crate, when open, will grant you at least one gun and some melee weapons from other chests. Next, with the third way of farming guns, we have the red zones in the winter biomes. It is one of the best ways to get lots of guns, but it will require more of your time. To maximize your chances, make sure to take a shower and clean your chopper before going in. Moreover, feed your dogs and make sure you have those with the Bloodhound trait active. Go back and forth between the zones. Try to be sneaky. Don't use too many weapons and only kill the necessary zombies. If you are in trouble, just leave and re-enter the map. Doing this regularly will give you lots of guns, grenades, C4s, and much more valuable items. And for the last way, the most important way, you have to clear this location every reset using only the wall trick. Of course, I'm talking about Bunker Alpha. If you want to become rich in this game, clearing Bunker Alpha regularly is a must. Learn all the tricks you can and you will have racks full of guns. If you want to know more about Bunker Alpha, you can watch my videos. I made a lot of them. And if you have any questions, type them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Until the next video, watch my base tour. Bye bye.